Revelation 1427, from the 20th of May 1940. Fulfillment of duty. Voluntary or compulsory. Only that is of value for the higher development of the soul, which is striven for and done out of free will. People can be urged to a life which in itself corresponds to the will of God, but these act only under a certain compulsion. If their own will is not involved, the deeds are invalid, that is worthless, before God. Every fulfillment of duty indeed means a correct earthly life, but no special merit for eternity. For what is valued in eternity, must have come from free will. It is not enough that certain commandments are fulfilled, to which great importance is attached on earth, but which have little or no divine will in them. To fulfill the divine commandment of love out of innermost impulse, includes everything which is beneficial for the development of the soul. You are often required to fulfill the commandment of love by force. You will be prompted to do deeds which in themselves correspond to God's will if they are done of your own free will. However, a person should not give himself over to the belief that through these, he has fulfilled the will of the Lord and is absorbed in active love for his neighbor. Only his own will is decisive, and only the extent to which he feels lovingly urged to his actions, is evaluated. And therefore very often a person whose inner thinking does not correspond to his outer actions at all, is honored by his fellow men because of his way of acting, or is regarded as pious. A person can only ever do what is demanded of him according to human laws, but without being in contact with God. It is a particular ambition and the addiction for recognition, drive to the greatest fulfillment of duty, but the spiritual development is questioned, because the innermost heart impulse is the only decisive factor. What the world demands must always serve the preservation of worldly power to a certain extent, however, if it is left to the people, the purpose is also a noble one, for then one's own will can become active, hence all coercive measures, having the appearance of charity, as well as the compulsory fulfillment of ecclesiastical commandments, have only the slightest value before God, any voluntary compliance with these, however, increases the value. Amen.